Hi Aries, this is your February monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this monthly's reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll get you an advice for the whole month of February. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this month. We have uh, the Hierophant clarified by the Page of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups clarified by the Three of Pentacles. In the potential outcome we have you, the Queen of Wands with the Two of Cups and uh, the Ace of Swords and we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Well, uh, here's the deal Aries. I'm not even gonna bother with an extended for you. I'm gonna tell you right away because uh, it's a wish come true. You've got absolutely everything going for you with this person. Right? And speaking of wishes come true, right? The Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, you've guessed it. It's one of the wish come true cards in the tarot deck. So if you've been wishing for somebody who is not going to be wasting time, somebody who is not going to say, oh, let's just play it by ear and see what happens. If you've been wishing for someone who's going to get serious, somebody who's going to get right down to business, somebody who will want to build this together with you, somebody whom you will always know what to expect in terms of stability, um, that wish is being granted in February for you, Aries, right? As a matter of fact, the very first card I came out is the Hierophant, and it's sitting right next to that King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Hierophant is a Taurus card, so if this person is a Taurus, it makes sense, total sense. Um, the, the, the King of Pentacles could simply be somebody who is an entrepreneur, somebody who is down to earth, if that is, if they're not an earth sign. They could be working for a financial institution, they could be wealthy themselves, right? But the... If uh, the Hierophant is a Taurus, don't worry, the Ten of Cups right next to the King of Pentacles is one of the commitment to marriage cards in the tarot deck. So essentially you're getting two of them right away from the get-go, right? That's the attitude of this person. They're coming into your life because they want to spend the rest of, your, of their life with you, right? The Ten of Cups is often referred to as the happily ever after card. It's a family card. This is one of the best cards when, when it comes to... Uh, emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. The Three of Pentacles clarifying the Ten of Cups is a card of co cooperation. In this case, it's the two of you building this together from the get-go, from the very beginning. And the, the thing about the Three of Pentacles, this is when both parties, both people wanted to work out and therefore they're putting time, effort, whatever is necessary into it from the very beginning, establishing the solid foundation. Right? The Page of Pentacles clarifying the Hierophant you know what, with uh, with all these cards we have here, I think the Page of Pentacles could be an engagement ring, like seriously, <laughs> right? The Page of Pentacles could be something tangible, something you can touch, and since it's clarifying the Hierophant, and since we also have the Ten of Cups, I think it will become, a, a, you will move towards a commitment right away. At, at some point, in, expect a proposal in February or early March. This is, this is what this person wants, and they will make it clear to you. Right? You're not going to have any doubts about what this person's intentions are. Because those two cards, the, the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups, showed up right there in the main spread. Hence me not even doing an extended for you. Right? Um, yeah, in the potential outcome we have you, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Cups and uh, the Ace of Swords. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And I think you're going to be thrilled. You really will be thrilled about this. Not because you're desperate, not because you're, oh my God, finally somebody is here who wants to be with me. No, because of the way this person presents themselves and most importantly because of what they say and do. All right? <laughs> There's two people in that two of cups in the middle, right? That's you and them. That's uh, you, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of when two people are on the same page. Both people feel the same way about what's going on and both people feel the same way towards one another. And that feeling is love. Alright? And the Ace of Swords right next to the deck, um, yeah, clarity. A brand spanking new beginning. With the Ace of Swords, again, nobody is playing or fooling around. Nobody is saying, let's just play it by ear. No. It's gonna be get serious right away. All right, so yeah, it's a it's it's a done deal. You know, whenever the king and the queen come out in the same spread, even if they're offsuited, this is 
also a very good sign. That means both of you are vibing on this similar level, the king and the queen level. Both of you are ready for a commitment, both of you are serious, both of you are perhaps have a lot of experience and you could be 25, 35, 45, doesn't matter. I just love this for you, um, Aries. So finally, someone who is serious, somebody who will love and cherish you for the rest of their life. It's a done deal. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Aries, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship that's better for you, we have Judgment, clarified by the Queen of Cups, uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Five of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Wands, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is one interesting spread for a couples, <laughs> for a married uh, reading. Right, because um, you've got this Queen of Cups coming back to you guys. I don't know how you guys are associated with this person or affiliated with this person. It could be a friend, a relative, uh, but they're coming back to you. You haven't heard from them or you haven't seen them in a while. And um, for some of you, if this person is a Pisces, right, it could be somehow related to their birthday, especially if they are a February Pisces, right? Because at the end of February, we'll have. Uh, Pisces birthday season, sorry. So perhaps this is somehow associated to that. But you have this Queen of Cups coming back, right? Uh, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. The Ace of Pentacles in the middle, they really want to reconnect with you, right? The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It could be money. If this person owes you money, they will pay you back or they will start paying you back or they will, perhaps they messed up in the past and uh, they will want to compensate you with that Ace of Pentacles. Um, the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of travel or communication, or, or both. Perhaps they'll, you know, drop a message and uh, they're going to show up right away. Uh, but uh, I don't think you're really happy to see this person, to be honest with you. Because at the end we have the Five of Wands clarified by the Ten of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of a struggle or it's a card of a confrontation, a fight, a heated discussion at least. Right, and the Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. So this whole situation, this whole thing with this person coming back is going to be a struggle for you, um, Aries. For, perhaps for, the, for your whole family, for you and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. So, yeah, expect this Queen of Cups show back up. But uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a serious card. They, I don't know if they messed up or not. They will want to make things right with you. That's what it feels like. All right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aries, this month. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords. Uh, we have uh, the Emperor, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius, or perhaps even another Aries. Yeah, this King of Swords is gonna come back <laughs> to you. And uh, they're waiting for something, right? And I don't know what they're waiting for. You can ask them and uh, then you can leave a comment <laughs> if it's not too private, if it's not too personal. But uh, whatever they're waiting for is finally coming to an end so they can make their move towards you so they could come back to you, right? So the King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Seven of Pentacles to the left from the King of Swords is a card of waiting. For some of you, perhaps they're waiting for their financial situation to improve, or they're waiting for some kind of a project at work to finish, whatever. Right? Most importantly, the Ten of Swords, clarifying that Seven of Pentacles, this is it. The, the waiting is over, so they could uh, come back to you. With the Six of Swords, clarifying the uh, King of Swords, yeah, this is them coming back to you. Um, and uh, the Emperor right next to the deck is your major arcana card, Aries, that's you. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck could be a Sag you're dealing with, but the Wheel of Fortune is a restart of a cycle. That's what they want. What you're going to do about this is going to be up to you. I did not want to clarify the Emperor because I just, just want to leave it up to you. It's always up to you, Aries, always is, especially now. Um, yeah, this, this looks... The Wheel of Fortune is a great card. You know, it's a serious card. It's a turn of events card. I think what's important here is that I don't know what they were waiting for. I think something improved in this person's life. I really think that because the Six of Swords, clarifying the King of Swords, is a card of an improvement, right? And the Wheel of Fortune could also be a, a very fortunate, positive turn of events. 
So perhaps uh, you can make a decision based on what happened to you and what changed in this person's life. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances areas this uh, month. We have the eight of ones, the chariot, the wheel of fortune, and the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Cancer or Sagittarius. The very first thing I thought of, Aries, was a business trip. Or if you're starting a new job, you may travel for work or travel more for work, right? So there's two fastest cards in the tarot deck, two of them, and both of them are on the table. The Eight of Wands and the Chariot are those two cards. The Wheel of Fortune, right next to the deck, together with all, together with those two cards, is also a very fast card. So for most of you, travel is definitely somehow involved in February. You will have to travel for work in February. It's pretty much unavoidable. But I don't see it as you being forced into it. I don't see you being uh, like feeling bad about it no I don't think so the page of cups on the bottom of the deck it's a you know perhaps it's that that invitation to go on that business trip or perhaps you could be meeting people doing some very nice pleasant business lunches and things like that because the page of cups you know it's not only an invitation it's it's the nicest page out of all four pages and I don't mean to belittle the other three pages but the page of cups always talks about people being nice people you know giving each other compliments and things like that or you could be going to different happy hours with uh, with people you work with or if you go on that business trip perhaps you will have to do like a bunch of uh, stops and uh, at every stop you'll have to socialize with people go to you know lunches uh, happy hours dinners and things like that um yeah if 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 you're not going on a business trip you're going to travel you still perhaps you drive a car for work <laughs> you know this that could be it here as well all right Here's the advice or a word of wisdom for you, Aries, for the whole month of February. We got the Four of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Wands, uh, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I don't know how many people this will play out for, because every single Aries I know, um, you guys are all very active people, proactive people. I know that my because my sister is an Aries. <laughs> But this advice for you right here is to get out of your hibernation. Get out of that bunker and uh, get back on your horse and conquer the world. All right? <laughs> That's the advice. So, um, yeah, the Four of Swords, the first card that came out, uh, this is a card of somebody who is, you know, perhaps laying down, watching TV on the couch, or somebody who is not doing much, right? Uh, for whatever reason. Perhaps you took, took uh, January off and uh, you went on vacation or you were just not feeling like doing much you know that happens even to Aries people <laughs> right so the ten of swords um, clarifying the uh, four of swords this is the first part of the advice right I think just you need to you know get rid of that four of swords energy stop it end it the ten of swords is a card of an ending and uh, the rest of the spread this is you getting back on your horse all right the three of ones the next card over this is uh, somebody who made up their mind somebody who made a decision and they're starting to move forward perhaps with that four of swords you were still thinking about it contemplating something so in that case the universe says you know what enough of that stop thinking get to it you know and action you know how when they shoot movies, the director says, or the cameraman says, and action, so perhaps that's what that Theo Wands is for you. The Knight of Wands right next to the deck, that's you, getting back on that horse. It's a fire sign indicator, you're a fire sign, the Knight of Wands is all about passion, it's all about active things, it's all about being proactive, it's all about, you know, moving forward, getting all excited, getting all fired up. This is a completely different energy than we see in the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords, there is absolutely nothing happening except for somebody relaxing or thinking. The Knight of Wands is all about action, right? And uh, the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, um, you know, this is a card of somebody who is doing really good financially, somebody who is being admired by many, somebody who is in the center of attention um, because uh, they got all fired up and excited. And passionate with that night of one so like I said I don't know how many people will this resonate with but uh, it's time to it's time to act <laughs> that's the advice all right Aries so that's what I have for you for this reading
for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing February.